Sweet! Oh, three rocks! Uh oh. Sweet! This is cool! I just got done watching Back to the Future, and it is the coolest movie ever. I cannot wait to go home and play the game. Now it's time to pop this video game in and play the game. Now the first thing you're going to see is the Back to the Future logo. This is the last thing that's pretty much cool in this game. You first start off in Hill Valley, and your objective of all things is going around trying to collect clocks, which has nothing to do with the basic plot of Back to the Future. But along the way, you're going to have all kinds of things to avoid. Way too many. There are things like trash cans, hula hoop girls, park benches, potholes, big bullies, things that look like coffee cups, what the fuck? And these two guys that walk back and forth carrying a plate of glass, which seems to be invisible to the naked eye until you crash into it. By the way, what the hell are two delivery men doing out in the middle of the street with an expensive piece of glass anyway? Can we say lawsuit? <laughs> now, if that still wasn't enough, there are these little annoying bees that follow you everywhere. And at certain points of the game, swarms of them come out and attack you at one time. Now, I wouldn't mind this so much, but these things were not even in the fucking movie! But there are so many bees in this game, you think Marty stumbled across a bee's nest or something. I mean, where did all these bees come from? Back to the Future Part Zero? Marty vs. the Bees? I don't think so. Now when you're playing this game, you're going to see all kinds of crazy shit. Like, what game designer thought it would be a good idea to place a clock over here? Does he really expect me to have some sort of disturbing death wish? Fuck! And I bet the idiot who designed this game has some sick perverted pleasure in knowing that people are playing his game, getting pissed off, and he sits back and laughs his ass off! Now the gameplay gets old very quick, and you have level after level of the exact same thing. Swerve around this, dodge that. In fact, there are very few useful items to use in this game. One of them is your skateboard. And when it does appear, it looks more like something that would kill you rather than help you. Now, even if you do happen to pick the skateboard up, it's not going to help you out all that much. All it does is make you go faster. And that becomes a big problem. Because there are so many things on the screen at one time that you're bound to crash and burn into something. And while we're at it, why is Marty wearing a black sleeveless shirt? Shouldn't this be red? It's red in all the movie posters. And it's red in most of the movie. All right, give me a Pepsi free. You want a Pepsi, pal? You're gonna pay for it. Sorry to be such a stickler for detail, but if we're going to slap the fucking Back to the Future logo on this game, shouldn't it follow as close to the movie as possible? This has gotta be a dream. I mean, geez. Since we're throwing everything that's accurate in this movie out the window, why not give Marty a gun? It would make more sense for him to have a gun. At least give Marty a sporting chance to at least get through this level. Hell yeah! Time to get revenge on this hula hoop bitch. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now if you aren't hard of hearing, the background music of this game should be driving you to the point of insanity. Now it's not that bad. But for starters, this music was not even in the movie. And because it's looped over and over and over again, it's gonna drive you absolutely insane. Now, providing that you survive the streets of Hill Valley, you end up in Lou's Cafe. It's nice and refreshing to see a change of scenery after four levels of the exact same stuff. Now, this stage may look simple, but it's gonna drive you fucking crazy. Now the objective of this level is to try to hit the guys running towards the counter before they reach you. Now it starts off nice and slow, and with the board set up the way it is, you have to first line up your shots just perfectly or they'll miss the target completely. But here's the catch, after you manage to nail a few of them, they start coming out faster and faster, and more at a time. It becomes a shitstorm of biffs! And I dare you to get past this level. No wait, I fucking double dog dare you to get past this level because it's fucking impossible. I can't do it. I've tried 50 fucking times and I just cannot do it. Without cheating, I don't know how this is not possible. Now I managed to hit 19 of these guys and that is absolutely trying my best at this level. But do you know how many you have to hit before advancing? 50. 
I can't even get half of that. And they want me to hit 50? Who the fuck was designing this thing? There's not even 50 stages in the game of Super Mario Brothers. There's not even 50 weapons in the game of Legend of Zelda. And there's not even 50 stage bosses in the games Mega Man 1 through 6 combined. So why the hell do you have to hit 50 of them to advance? It's just utter complete bullshit. And if you don't hit 50 of them, what do you think would happen? You get to try again, right? Wrong! Instead, they send you back to the beginning of the previous level. This game is so bad, it makes every movie that Mariah Carey made look like a fucking masterpiece. This game is so bad, I wish I could just go back in time and stop it from ever being created. Hey, that's an idea. I think I'll do just that. Tell Mr. Sylvester I'll handle all the Back to the Future games. Mr. Caldwell? Uh, yes, Bernice? Sorry to disturb you, but there's a young gentleman here wishing to speak to you. Oh, uh, go ahead and send him in. You're just the guy I'm looking for. Well, looks like I saved the day. What the hell? Oh, shit. I altered the timeline. I don't exist in this timeline! No! God, this game sucks! Why couldn't they make a cool game like Back to the Future? It was a cool movie. I don't know how you could fuck something like that up. Stupid games.